Okay, last time we was here working on our uh, lawn mower, we ran into a problem. And I'm going to set things up and show you what our problem is. And I'm going to show you how we solved it. Okay, last weekend at the garage, we tried pulling the rims off the mower because uh, we want to clean the rims up and paint them and put new tires on it because the old tires dry rotted. And we ended up breaking a uh, wheel puller because this thing would not come off. And so we ended up taking a hole saw and drilling it out. And then this was the centerpiece and ended up having to cut it to get it to come off the shaft. It was... Uh, through years of rust and who knows what, there wasn't enough heat and beating could get that off there. It was married in holy matrimony with the, uh, the shaft coming outside the transaxle. So, I went to looking around for a new rim. And let me show you what I came up with. So this is the one tire we was able to get off and put back on. And as you can see, it fits on there with a, a bolt and a washer holds that special um, spline on which is not a keyway or nothing this is one's got the uh, it's a round shaft and then the end of it's kind of squared off so I'm not sure what you call that kind of keying on the end of a shaft but so this side now has a four bolt hub and this is a four on four and we've got it on there and we're all good to go now um, I've got one for that side over there and dad just so happens to have some old golf golf cart wheels sitting around so I've got four of them over here because Two of them we're going to put on there while I work on it, and two of them we're going to put the tires, take tires off of it and clean the rims up for paint, along with pulling those rims up and cleaning them up for paint because, yes, those are brand new white rims. I know, they're painted already, but we got a color we want them to be, and so he's going to figure out what sandpaper is here in a little bit. Yes, I know what sandpaper is. <laughs> Alright, so I know you guys just went boop and here I am, but it's been a few days of me work on this thing since I spoke to you last. So, not only do you get to see what's going on with the wheels, but I got some other special treats for you. So, the wheels are done and painted and mounted and back on the lawnmower. And we went with a nice international cream color. Uh, those were originally white. These were ugly looking. And now look at them. So, that international cream is going to give us like, they'll get a little bit dirty and they'll look perfectly faded. But a few other things that has happened, and this is all loose in here right now, so bear with me. Um, the steering is done, and that whole mechanism is loose right now because I don't have the bolts tight. They're all just kind of in there finger tight. But the steering's working perfect. Um, and then, you'll notice I've added this menagerie right here coming across, and there's a linkage here going down. And that linkage, Comes down right there, has a pivot point, and goes back to the rear end. And then there's a knob right here. So this knob, there's reverse. There's fifth down there, and you can hear the gears as it goes through them. So that is the shifter. So hold on a second. Hold that, Kagan. So yeah, that's real loose because I'll have them tight. Um, but right here, so there's reverse, down through there, and you can, and there's neutral. And so anytime I come up and hit that spot right there, that's neutral, and we roll real easy, grabbing the first, and you can see this pulley here, first is uh, geared pretty low, let's go down to six, or fifth, there we go. So I can roll it like that, and then back up to neutral, and we're good. So. All that's together. So the fix with the adapters on the wheels, like that right there. Of course, you've seen over here, I've got them lug nutted on there. So that's it. So as of right now, the shifter's done. Hold on a second. There we go. The shifter's done. The steering's done. The drive line is uh, done. I need to make a few belt guides, but them are quick and easy. 
Um, I added some angle iron there to the front of it, which is where my body's going to bolt to in the firewall. I've been working on the body. It's not sitting in here because I'm not going to show you guys yet. You have to see the next one. But there we are. Drop spindles are pretty well done. Everything's good to go. So now it's all about the stuff that looks cool. Oh, and I got one last thing. And it's not mounted yet, but check this out. It is a radiator guard off of a gold wing, and that'll make a sweet little radiator for the front of the car. So now it's on to working on the body, and you guys will have to see that one on the next one. So uh, hit that subscribe button if you're following this project and enjoying it, and uh, give us a like, and we'll see you guys later. And words to live by, a bolt in the hand is worth two in the bush. You don't have to dig for them that way. Yeah. See you guys later. <laughs>